a little bit of fun playing with Grafana and Node-RED. The main target of this video is describe how I used an MQTT data source as a data source for um, this simple stat uh, panel in Grafana. Okay, as as you know, maybe Grafana only can use a database databases as sources. And uh, my aim it was um, let me say create a small trick for cheating Grafana and saying to Grafana that uh, here it is the last value. Uh, and then show that last value in a simple graph panel. And how I did that? Uh, first of all, what I had to do is uh, install a plugin called uh, what is it? Simple JSON. Okay, Simple JSON allows us uh, to connect using, as I say, use a, an HTTP interface for our database. So thanks to that, I can create a database or a theoretically a database which uh, returns um, the information required by Grafana for showing a panel. Okay, and then you can create an HTTP interface for whatever. This is the idea. Using Node-RED, I created an HTTP server implementing the protocol which is described in the simple JSON. So what I did is if we go to the panel, okay, here we have the widget, the simple start widget that I have connected with the backend. Let me go first of all to the data source for this. This is the data source that I configured. Okay, it's just a, an arbitrary name using that simple JSON type as a data source. Then I connected that to localhost uh, <clears throat> uh, so sorry, I don't know now. Maybe I this. it is this one, sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay. So in just a an everyday name as I was saying, simple JSON node red. Is whatever. And then pointing to the localhost URL uh, where I publish the HTTP interface compatible with the Grafana HTTP data source. Okay, it is the configuration, and then let me go to the panel design. It is the panel. I edit the panel, then I select the source. Then I have table and time series. In this case, I implemented time series protocol. Uh, about the endpoint, you can use whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, it's not relevant. And if I go to the query inspector, I can see what's the object that you're finally use it for requesting the answer. And here it is the generated answer from Node Red. Uh, in some seconds, I will go to Node Red for describing how I did that. Then here it is the response, as I was saying. It is just a list of target objects. In this case, this is just a target, which is whatever you can. And I only return one point. Okay, the value and the timestamp of the point return. And then, of course, every time that Grafana requests that last point, the last point is retrieved and published here. Uh, for showing you a little bit more about the configuration, just show the, the current state, so the last one, the last value that I had, used to do decimals showing that data, and not much more than that. If it is the title, nothing else. Then, what in Node-RED? In Node-RED, uh, I had to implement, first of all, that endpoint. If you remember, this is the endpoint that we we had in the configuration of the data source. Nothing special, just return a 200 code for, for um, saying to Grafana there is a data source server available. With this, that, with this, it's enough. 
Okay. Um, this is only used during the process of uh, setting up the data source. It's not going to be used anymore. Here, what I do is using a, an MQTT subscription node. I connect to the server. I define a temperature at the end of the day, I define a topic where I publish a temperature of whatever. It doesn't matter what it is now. And what I do here is just uh, parse the received data to a float and generate a timestamp of just now. I mean, a Unix, current Unix timestamp. And then I set that in a, in a flow variable. Uh, for properly debugging the story, I show the last value read uh, in the status. Okay, here it is, the last value, 53.8. Uh, the next time that it changes, that that now, 0.9, the value is it, updated, as you can see, in real time. Uh, then, when Scrafana wants to get a new reading, in this case, every five seconds. Of course, I can set up this here with whatever number. Okay. Uh, what it's going to do is just send a post request to this endpoint. What I did in that function is just uh, generate the answer for the query. Uh, because there is a list of targets. Okay. Remember, the target is whatever that I write here, okay? What I do is iterate with this list. If it's just one, okay, this, this, this uh, loop will be executed just once. And then I I put the, the target name in that uh, property. And I set the data point, which is the data that I previously saved in the, the flow. Later, I push that to the, to the output object, convert the output object to a string, and put that to the payload, and just uh, return that with a, with a 200 status code for HTTP to the Grafana server, nothing else. And, uh, and with that, as you can see, uh, every five seconds, if there is any new data, it will be published in the simple start panel. Okay, as you can see, it works perfectly. So it seems something stupid, but it could be super useful, especially when you are designing some real-time data panels for uh, some projects.